Hi there fishing buddies, uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, see what we're in store for today. Take care all. Right there fishing buddies, you join us at Cubmore today, we've got Lee with us. And what we're doing is going to try and get some, there's tension all sorts in this, obviously I had tension, but I feel there's some barbel and rud, so we'll try and get them today, so, so we can catch some fish. So we've got down onto the lake, this is Cudmore. What a beautiful lake. That's my peg, Lee's just getting stuff with it. There's an old man just gone down, down the corner. Sorry about that. Yeah, the old man's just gone around the corner. So, not many yet, early hours, early morning. So we're gonna dip his nets, and ready to fish. Lee's well, gonna dip nets. Took bacteria and stuff, make sure there's no diseases. Here's Lee's just going to through, I will get him baits ready. Just mixing some two mil pallets up. What you do is just cover them with a bit of water, just just over the top of them. Leave them for a couple of minutes so they soak up and drain the water off. And uh, add them to my ground bait. So you just mix the ground bait up. Using method feeder, to, uh, sorry, cage Casting. feeder. Explosive caster, big yeah. fish. On cage feeder today. Something you don't see me doing a lot of my videos, doing feeder fishing, so I thought we'd have a change. There's a good man, he's mixing it up for me, look. Looking down again, hands dirty. And obviously been soaking them pellets for a few minutes as well. So the pellets will be going in. Yeah. Mix what usually works is round bait, feeding pellets, chuck a few in. There's plenty of uh, dampness in the tub. Some emp. You know, somewhere, this one. Bit of amping. Let's give it a bit of the casters. Ample of casters. Mix it in. Get a lid on. Get to shake up. And that's the mix for today. Pallets, casters, emp. Sweet. This pole setup, cage feeder, 20 gram. It's an eight pound line with a shock leader on of 15 pound. Just to make a little twizzle boom on the end. 14 zoop to four pound bottom. Feeder rod, two ounce tip. Fishing the ground bait with his mix while I've made him with the casters and the emp. Fishing double maggot on the size 14 zoot. And hopefully uh, have a good day. Yay! Looks just up to the first fish. What we've got? Yeah, I'm going to Tench. <laughs> Oh, you know what you love a man. <laughs> On rod race, mate, all that time for the tent, isn't it? Yeah, mate, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Little baby tent. I've just been uh, unhooking mine. First cast. I've got a tench. A little skimmer straight away. There's your tench. Couple of pounds. 
Found an ass. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So keep it, keep us going. So I'm doing. I'm just gonna to put maggots on. Load it with ground bait. Seconds that way, that tent. You got another one, mate. He's got a few fish. Went straight around the tent. There you go, into another one. I've got the skimmer. Got to breathe in this tent. Literally seconds. Have a little tent. Yeah, bring that over here, mate. I've got a little bream. A little tench. <laughs> Lee's got a tench. <laughs> Taking it in turns now, mate. I know. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I've had two casts, two fish. So we're not allowed to keep next year. So what I'm going to do is have an hour to myself. Keep going, see how many I can get. And then uh, we'll get a barbel. Like I said, we're trying to get a barbel today. Uh, obviously we're getting tench and bream. There's carp in here as well. So I'm going to keep keep going. Tell up how many fish I can catch. Just obviously keep doing bits of video in and whatever. And uh, come back to you. Take care. Fish on. Another bream. Big bream? Yeah. Skim off. You got one on in Lily Fags. Hold on. Sorry about that, it's gonna take you over here. Sorry about that. He's lean. Big next to me, look. He's on method feeder. You got him. Hold on, mate. Sidewinder. Fishing the sidewinder. <laughs> yeah, man.
<laughs> just sucked into another one. Sorry, I'm smoking. Oh, hang on. <laughs> that first one fell. <laughs> That's a lifted up for that one. Another one. Just sucked into another one. Oh, that's shaking its head like a good one. Another bream. It's in seconds, mate, it's done. Yes, I'll need this cordial there. Little bream. Oh, red maggot on. Double red. Ground bait in. Get a little pinch either side. Like that. What fuck really? Left the rod down, not even sink his eye. Tight though. Sorry about the cars, we've fucked. Bang, say there, lad. Run that. Oh, it's a whopping dream. <laughs> well, when it comes to one of them venues that you love, I think I'm just going to love this one. What I'm doing now, I've got a few fish on double red. Yeah, uh, I've come for a barbel, there's a barbel in here. So I've got some little cubes of meat, some little cubes of meat. I'll try this, and uh, even if I have to wait a little bit longer, I'm not bothered. So, we can get this barbel. Just up to one of that meat. A bit of gill making this and that. Not bad, that. The first fish, a bit of gill making this one. Great for him, that. 
So there we go, another bream. You see, look at the gill there, look. Not very good, that. Got another lamp. This one's probably the first scrap, mate. Yeah. Might be a little crab. What is it? I think that's a car. I think it's a cruising, mate. I think I've got a cruising on. Oh, oh mate! <laughs> <laughs> mate, that's <I'm> cruising, Paul. Yes, mate. Yes, warm. Got that charger. Yeah. Mate, look at that for a cruising. I love this man. Beautiful. He's got one. I'm not going to take out glory. I was saying I can't even have a cigarette. <laughs> what, you got cruising? It's a cruising, that. It's cruising, mate. I've seen it. Sure, yeah. Oh, look at it! Yeah, look at it! That's what happens at the same block! <laughs> Oi, mate! Mate, this is sick! Sick fish in here! Yeah, Lee's brought me here today. Uh, where's it? Cudmore? Yeah, Cudmore. Cudmore fishing. Yeah, uh, £10 a day, you have to pre book. Absolutely awesome. I have mean, I fish some good venues, and uh, if I were to bring to the place, try and get a barbel. Down here. Yeah, definitely. I need a rod, off rod base and all, and a uh, barbel. But I'm happy. As, I'm happy as a pig in turd, as I say. So let's just get some more. Well done, mate. Don't know what. Bouncing its head. Bream. Yeah, triple maggot. So we've just been to Kathy's little cafe on site and everything, uh, toilets, everything down here. Mm. Got to bring about 8 o'clock. Been a couple of hours and fished some 
unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, like I say, it's unbelievable. Sorry for the people in the background. Uh, definitely a place to come. I'm blown away by it. I mean, I've, I've not ticked fish for some time now. And uh, trying to get pole out of speed. Some bait down edge. Need to let bar blah. So I'm trying to do that in a bit. Definitely get some drink and sort things out. And like I say, I'm going to have a couple of hours to myself. I'll tally some more fish up. And then uh, keep going and a catch. Keep trying to video record as much as I can. And uh, I'll keep going for Check it. Just swapped over onto the pole. Just put one of my new dibbers on. Just get it set up in a minute. Fishing over the deck. It's about two and a half foot. Fish on. Different species. Little perch. Got another one. Believe it or not, that one on the meat. Little perch. I've had that, I've had that perch and uh, Look at that, fantail Lynn's had a fantail Gorgeous fish, hold on mate Got another one up I think it's a rope, I won't sell it that I'm looking at you and the stuff like that Oh we're having them today Nice rope Come on mate Got another one on. Just come on. Just on triple maggot a minute. So I'll show you my rig in a second. This is the little dibber I bought yesterday. It's just smiling with the perch. Triple maggot that. Pellet and have that roach. Looks like meat again. I've had a perch on meat and all. What perch? Instant. Fish on instantly. So I'm after trying to catch these uh, barbling edge. I can't tell if these small fish. Another one. Dipped into a better fish, I think. That's an even bigger perch. <laughs> Jelly, it's a perch, but it's a bigger one. <laughs> Not a perch I've had from here. I'm gonna get this right. Love perch. Stop looking down there. There we go. So that's the suit rig what I'm using. Power top Swanet. That's a new little dibber I bought. Uh, top shot, number eight, number eight, another number eight, down to size 14, up four pounds main line to three pound eight. Uh, I think it's a Camazon B11, size 14. So, like I said, just keep getting these, keep getting these perch at the minute. And, uh, I don't know what 
can do it. Just keep chucking the landing net for 10 minutes and getting that many. So I'm going to as many fish as I can. But try not to kill too many. Chucking it on him. Bearing hook. Like that. Let's get some more. Just upped into another one. Nice perch, look what I've come for. Come on, man. Come on. Beautiful looking perch. Absolutely beautiful. Give me the camera, sorry. Beautiful. You just got to sit. Fantail up, fantail cruising, well done mate, and I've just had 10 minutes down at edge and I've had quite a few perch, so I'm going to pass the camera over to Lee. Sorry about that, this dark's head with me. You might have fun, then give that again for So what I'm going to do now is go back onto the cage feeder. I'm not going to sit and catch these perch. Um, go back on feeding time. Back out to pick lilies. See if we can get out of here. So another little roach. Look in the bag see if I've got some lunch in me. Another roach. Into another fish, I've gone back on tip. I've just lost a really good fish. Oh, it's a perch. Can't get away from them, pal. <laughs> yeah. Four maggots that took. Yeah, just change over methods. I'm on method feeder now. And uh, they just showed me a different way of doing it. Show me a better way of doing it. Let Greg sit. Yeah. Little tench. I think it's a little tench. Cheers, Lee. Oh, nice little cruising, mate. Conclusion. They're beautiful then. Fantail that. Well at least taught me a better way of doing it, so I'm gonna show you what's happening. Bit of bait in bottom. Bit of bait in bottom. Fill it up. Feel it. Little squeeze. That's where you chuck out. So what I'll try and do is lift the camera up. Yeah, I've done it, mate. Chuck it out. Not even sinking, line. 
They're not even sinking the line. What's that I've got? <laughs> they're just teaching some new methods. I'd be different if this ain't class. Instant. I'm just going to show you that again real quickly. I've put bait in the bottom. Gotta be quick. Get it out there. Not even enough time to wind down. I just had a knock then. Another one. Yeah, I missed, I'm missing them. Hang on, I've got, I've got that on. That's on, that is. Yeah, I thought, I'd, I thought it'd come off. Hang on. Oh, I've got a bream. <laughs> got a slab, mate. Got a slab. Instant, absolutely instant, what a brilliant method. Come on. Scott look out. And there you go. Lovely bream. As you can see, <laughs> these over there, good man. Just into another one. Don't let it feed it again. Feels like a bream. Yeah. You got a good fish job? I'll get this in, mate. I'll video record you. Hang on. Instant method. Just got rained on. Chucked it down with rain. You believe? He's got good on. I run across. Sorry about that. Look good on. Look out. Yeah. Language, pal. Mm -hmm. All right. Pardon me. <laughs> we all swear, mate. We all swear. Well done, mate. Got a leech on it. Oh, that's your weight, isn't it? Good finger. Good man. Hooked into another one. Nice bream pop. Lovely bream. Spat it. Oh, he's 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 oh, he's
Uy, coma. Well, what I'm going to do now is that I keep, instead of keep video recording, I've got plenty of fish. Yeah. Unless I get a barbel or a nice tench or something a bit different, I'm going to stop right here with God Grace. Uh, just finish it off as a play session now. Proper enjoyed it. Um, massive thanks to Lee over here for bringing me a proper brilliant place. Fish are chump, so let's forget different species. See you in the next one. Take care of. Mine's twanging pool. Cruising. Cheers, Bob. Nice eyes. Hold on, mate. Just chose it over to the pole. Better bream. There you go, mate. The yeah, have changed over. What I'm going to do, I'll take you through my rig really quickly. I <laughs> put that in, I've got a perch! <laughs> oh god, and a perch. I literally dropped that in edge while I'm taking that bream off. I've got a carp on, and Lee's got a carp on. And uh, I've lost three. Come on, let's get him in. Come on, you two, mate. Oh, mate. Look at the size of that. <laughs> oh, mate. I'm going to end up losing this. Hold on, Paul, we can have a nice photograph here. We'll get them both in. No. No. Down to the bottom two, mate. Down to bottom two? Yeah. Down to bottom three. You got yours? Yeah. Good man, good man. Right, yeah, bring it over here. Hang on, we'll try and get this in. Yeah, hang on. Let me get this one in there. It's coming up, mate, hang on. My pole's not in road, is it? I can't yeah. move it, mate. I'll have to wait. Come on, get your head up. Oh, how good is he, mate? 
Nice mirror, nice mirror. Get him up, mate. Get him up. Doing again. Doing again. Yeah, I was. I can't slow him down, mate. Get him with it, though. He's got another one on, another carp. They're feeding right under his feet. Yeah. See, fins coming out. Run out of battery on the phone, so. Gotta be quick. Uh, it's about, it's about eight pounds, it? it looks bigger than that. Mm. Yeah. There he is, Lee. Still trying to get it in. <laughs> like I said, we're running out of batteries. Messing about. Look at the smile on the man's face. He's lost a few. Oh, I've seen a nice tail come out. Yeah. Hang your way, mate, if I come down here. You alright? Yeah, yeah. right Proper bending. We've had plenty more fish than we've actually seen on camera as well, loads more. Obviously we're just pleasure fishing now, but if we're getting these carp, we'll try and video record them for cam. Yeah, there's another big one down in, in the edge. Can you swim? Yeah, yeah. You see, look at that. See, right under his feet. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. He's got him, he's got him. <laughs> Don't be spicking his swim pool. Go on, go on, go on. He's it. Swim over the top of him. Here he is. Have a nice carp. Front leave, hold him up, try and get a weight for you as well. Well done, mate. Looks like we're gonna get rained on. Alright, just weighed that one. It's Twelve and, Twelve and a half pounds. Well done, Lee. Pulled us into another corp. Yeah. Proper pleasure fishing this is, bro. He's going to go twang. He's not swimming down. He's barbable. Oh, yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Sleep tonight. Get your head up. 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 Get
Come on, come on. I've seen the net. the corner of the maggot. Well done, mate. Well done. Pleasure fishing. <laughs> well done, Paul. Right there fishing buddies, just to say I'm just about to start doing editing and stuff and uh, the battery had to run out on the device. We caught loads of fish that day so obviously we probably got the same amount of fish again that it was turned that into a pleasure session so stay tuned and find out how we got on. Thank you. Fishing buddies, uh, just been doing editing for the last part of this video. Uh, there was 75 miles left in keeping it. It's 10 miles there, 10 miles back. Brilliant venue I went to. Um, I caught 32 fish, that leaves 8-7 miles left in the keep net, uh, and I did actually catch, which I didn't realise at the time, so I started doing editing, we call them fantails, and they are actually cast as brown goldfish, so just another species off rod race, I've checked it out and everything, so stay tuned and uh, get away at rod race, take care all, thank you. A massive shout out to Darren from South Shields, All Seasons Sea Fishing. Great guy he is, so please check his channel out. I will be leaving the description below. Also, Tackling Minds, uh, Dave Lyons is the co founder, and New Beginnings Fishing, my own Facebook group. I'll be leaving a description and link below to all of them. Now, I'd like to say a bit of stuff about this Tackling Minds. Um, I'm loving the group that they've got i want to join the group there's quite a lot of people that's in it and obviously people struggle with anxiety and depression and mental health same as i do myself at times it can be really hard so please check out this group awesome job that the guys doing they're going around to ponds and chatting away to people and doing what they're doing and uh, doing an amazing job helping people from all walks of life I mean, fishing's, as I says, not just a sport, it's a way of life. So it's an easy way to get away from everything and keep his mind going and doing what we're doing. So thanks ever so much. Uh, I'd also like to thank everybody who was on the group, uh, everybody who's subscribed, all my fishing buddies and everything else. Massive thanks to everybody for your support. At the time, it's not been easy, but we're getting there. and. Uh, we're getting there in the end so just a massive thank you to everybody don't forget to become a fishing buddy because every hundred subscribers we will be having a prize giveaway and uh, we'll make sure that it's drawn out and uh, it gets to yourself 
So I'd just like to say a massive thanks to everybody for all your support and everything else. And uh, just stay tuned and we'll see what we're doing next week or week after when we're fishing. So thanks again, everybody. Massive thanks to everybody for everything. So thank you and take care and wait to see what is on his next video. Thanks again.